Good morning, crafties. Today is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024, and Stacy and I are going in her truck with the two dogs to Baus, the little town of Baus. And there's a little museum there, and there's a few cafes, and uh, we're going to walk around this little town, or look around this little town, and find out some history. We might stop at a few places that may be other historical landmarks. All right, follow along. Are you ready, Stacy? Yeah, I've never been to, where are we going? Faust. Faust. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. Here we go. Well, I'm off on another adventure. Calling this Desert 2024. Just me and Snickers. Okay, Snickers, here we go. We go bye-bye. located in La Paz County, Arizona. The history of Baus, Arizona stretches back to the late 1800s when it began as a mining camp known as Brayton. Renamed Baus in 1907, the community enjoyed a booming economy between the arrival of the railroad in the early 1900s and the closure of the Swan Sea Mine in the 1920s. Baus we turned right out of the High Jolly BLM where we were camped and went east a couple of miles to Plamosa Road. This is also a BLM site and there are many campers out here on Plamosa Road. The distance and mileage between Quartzsite and Baus is 26.5 miles about 33 minutes to get to Bath. Bath is a census designated place in Ghost Town in La Paz County, Arizona. It's founded in 1908 as a mining camp. The economy of Bath is now based on tourism, agriculture, and retirees. The population was 996 at the 2010 census. It was originally named Brighton after the store owner, John Brighton Martin. And we are entering Baus. Historical marker 500 feet. Let's see what we can see with this historical marker. Okay, there's a older building over there. Here's the sign up here, Baus Pump Site. Oh, he's from Mendocino. Okay. Thomas Baus was born in Mendocino County, California, came here in 1889 as a prospector and built the first two rooms of his home. He ran a small store. He bought his wife, Kath brought his wife, Catherine, infant daughter here in 1892. Three more children were born and the house expanded to a rather large two-story home and a number of bedrooms on the second floor. He was bitten on the lower leg by a rattlesnake on July 12, 1929 and died 23 hours later in Parker. He was 75 years of age and is buried in the Bow Cemetery. Catherine is thought to have died in Los Angeles and buried there. The cement tank in the right background served as a swimming pool 
for many years and that's raised. raised in 1948. Very cool, our first one. Now we are going to look for the Bows Museum. at the Baus Museum and Essay Office. This is the old miner's cabin in the backyard of the museum. And look inside here. It's like an old miner's cabin. Stove, table, shelves, place for a bed. This is the firehouse cart two-man pull cart, wheelbarrow, every man's workhorse, it's right there, and drag line or bucket, right there. There's a drill press, and a belt drive, over there is the belt drive, looks like a big wheel, and all mining equipment. This was a mining town. This uh, little plaque of a borough is the memory of Eight Ball, Camp Bouse morale officer. He was the drinking buddy while on duty. He drank our beer. He went to the nurses quarters around the bend and came to an untimely end of the colonel. He was unaware that it would be the crime of all time if he ate the nurses underwear <laughs> and was slain by the jealous river rest in peace. <laughs> And there's a whole story online about uh, the eight ball, the Camp Bouse morale officer. This was the site of the Alaska Hotel. In the day, Bouse had several hotels and a boarding house. The foundation remains of the two-story Alaska Hotel. The front doors face the corner of Main Street and Santa Fe Avenue. So this foundation is part of what was the hotel. This is Chris, and he's the curator of the Baus Museum. Tell me about it, Chris. Okay, so this used to be the assay office in 1902. Um, that cabinet over there is from the original assay office. Well, not the one. The older one. Um, so that's original. Um, this is mostly, this site here is mostly the mining history, the day-to-day uh, -day history of Baus. The other room is about Camp Baus. Could you talk a little louder? The other room is Camp Baus. Are, are you familiar with Camp Baus? The military base. Correct. It was one of Patton's 12 uh, camps that Patton established. Patton was never in Baus, but it was part of one of those camps from the Desert Training Center. Um, it was special, though, because um, it, they trained a top secret uh, program out there. It was the canal defense light. They called it the Gizmo. It was the second most top secret program in World War II after the Manhattan Project, which was the atomic bomb. They thought it was going to win the war for them because it was a 13 million candle power strobe light that was placed on top of the tank, and they thought it was going to blind the enemy. Um, it really only used it once that I know of in actual war. It was for crossing the Rhine River. It was just the wind-up stuff. It was, but it was very interesting. And that's mostly what the other is. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh,
For visiting, hurry back to Baus. Welcome to Baus Rest Area. This replica is of the train depot, 1902 rail card. Small carts were used to move freight materials, personnel along the tracks. Baus train depot. Baus railroad depot, a small depot building, is a nod to the much larger original depot completed in 1906 located on the northeast side of the tracks. Steam engine replica. The Arizona and California Railroad rolled the first steam engine into Baus in 1904 and was served this area since. A rail line between Swansea and Boyce was completed for passengers and freight in 1910. Baus was the major activity hub of the region through the 18 and 1900s. Quite a place. And there's more railroad equipment and carts. Drill hammer used in local mining operations. Baus was a very active mining area. Mines included the Diane, May, Clara, Consolidated Gold and Copper, Little Butte Mine, Copper Giant, Southern Cross Mining Company, Excelsior Mining Company, and many more. At our lunch at the Yakatillo Lodge in Boyce. They don't allow dogs inside, even if it's a service dog, but we were able to sit outside on the picnic tables outside. Another, another gorgeous Arizona sunset, January 17th, 2024. It was a good day to go to Baus 
Now I'm going to go and join the ladies at the campfire. Well, we got back to camp all safe and sound from our trip to Baus, Arizona. I hope you enjoyed our little trip and the museum there. And then we had lunch at the Ocotillo Lodge. It was very good. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when touring Baus, Arizona. Thanks so much for watching.